Welcome everyone, my name is Mike, I'm with Ability Business, and in this video we'd like to introduce you to QuickBooks Point of Sale version 19. We thought the best way to introduce version 19 of QuickBooks Point of Sale is to break it down into the four main enhancements. Uh, the first that we'll discuss is the expanded hardware. Second, we'll talk about the contactless pin pad for your credit card transactions. Third, we'll discuss the save and email button to now email receipts uh, upon the completion of a transaction. And lastly, talk about the e-com integration with Webgility. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk hardware. As you can see, the hardware is now available in white. Uh, not only the cash drawer and the receipt printer, but also the barcode scanner. Another nice feature is that you can get two smaller options uh, if you don't have a lot of counter space for your hardware now you have an option to get a cash drawer that is a 13 by 13 cash drawer or you can get a combination cash drawer and receipt printer there are also tablet display stands that are available in both black and white uh, and in the next slide we'll talk about a couple new tablets that are now compatible with the QuickBooks point of sale program a couple other cool features with the new hardware is the barcode scanner. The barcode scanner is not just a 1D scanner, it is a 1D and a 2D scanner. So now you're able to scan 2D images. And that's pretty, uh, that's pretty sp slick, especially with uh, Ability Business because we provide a age verification app that enables uh, the ability to scan 2D images like the back of a driver's license. If you'd like more information about that, uh, we have plenty of videos about our signature uh, capture app as well as our age verification app. And then lastly, you have the contactless pin pad. That's pretty nice now. You can take um, Apple Pay and Samsung Pay and Google Pay are all available now um, with the contactless pin pad. So all in all, a lot of nice new features are available with the new hardware package. Okay, let's talk about the save and email button as well as some of the new tablets that are compatible with version 19. A save and email button. As you can see by the picture, you now have the option to save the transaction and email the receipt. Something to keep in mind though, the email only works with Outlook. So if you have a email domain that is not Outlook and you really like this feature, give us a call at Ability Business. We are a development firm and we have been developing apps for QuickBooks Point of Sale since 2003, so we can certainly help you out with this as well. Uh, the other um, feature on this slide is the compatible tablets. So the Samsung and the Acer are now two tablets that are compatible with QuickBooks Point of Sale version uh, 19 and they both work with the display stands that we showed in the previous slide. Okay, next we're going to discuss the e-commerce integration with Webgility. Certainly one of the most exciting features of QuickBooks Point of Sale version 19 is the e-com integration powered by Webgility. With this integration, you'll get automatic inventory syncing between your web store and your QuickBooks Point of Sale system. And that's really nice because managing inventory in two separate uh, store locations is really, really difficult. Uh, with the e-com integration powered by Webgility, you're going to be able to manage your inventory uh, from QuickBooks point of sale and then every single time something is sold at the web store that's going to sync up with your QuickBooks point of sale. Another nice feature is that you don't have to manage two separate item lists. An item list in your web store and an item list in your QuickBooks point of sale. In QuickBooks point of sale version 19 any items that you want to have reflected on your web store you simply check a box and now that item will be reflected on your web store. That's really, really nice and again, takes a lot of the management um, of managing two store locations, takes a lot of that stress and reduces it. 
And lastly, a really nice feature uh, is that Webgility offers free white glove onboarding support. So you're not having to do all of this stuff and learn all of this yourself. You're going to have that Webgility specialist uh, for free help you get onboarded, help you get started uh, so that your transition can be as seamless as possible. All right, in the next slide, we're going to talk about another integration where we can now bring in your QuickBooks Financial, either QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. Okay, last but not least, certainly not least, Ability Financial Exchange is a real-time syncing tool that syncs your point of sale, transactions, customers, vendors, accounts, uh, and your inventory with QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Financial, and it does it in real time. And another nice feature is that it's a two-way connecting sync. So if you update something in QuickBooks Online, say you um, add a uh, inventory adjustment, it's going to, within the next five minutes, it's going to sync up with QuickBooks Point of Sale and adjust that inventory in QuickBooks Point of Sale. So with QuickBooks Point of Sale version 19 having e-com integration, now you can have QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop financial integration with your QuickBooks Point of Sale. So that means all three of your programs can be integrated. If you'd like to know more information about this, please contact us at sales at abilitybusiness.com. You can also reach us by phone at 330-644-4123. We hope you enjoy and found this video informative, uh, but if you do have additional questions, there's a lot of stuff going on with QuickBooks uh, Point of Sale version 19, please give us a call or reach out by email or visit our website, abilitybusiness.com.